Hi everybody, this is Chad Jones from the iCafe studio. Today we're talking about Edgeforia Aware, and I'm going to show you a way that you can create an assessment through one special login that you can then share with every teacher on your team so that only one person has to make the answer key and then you can also share the data with each other from a campus view to be able to compare class to class to class. So this is a really cool feature. Some of you have already figured out ways to share answer keys and this is very different. This is making it so that you're just going to send that test every teacher on your campus in your little group and uh, be able to share the data with each other. So it's pretty cool stuff here. All right. First thing you need to do is you need to find out the special login and password for this new account that's been created. The usernames are found on the iCafe Edgeforia resources page. Uh, it's probably just going to be your campus at, at lcisd.org. So like today I'm going to log into Thomas at lcisd.org. Now your password is not on the iCafe site. You need to talk to your campus principal to get that information because we don't want to put passwords out there on the web for anybody to access. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and show you how this process is going to work. I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to log into Thomas Elementary School. So it's Thomas at lcisd.org. I already know the secret password here. And then I'm going to log in. And I'm going to go into Aware just like you would expect to. And then you're going to notice something kind of different over here. I only have two tabs, a student tab and a manage tab. That's very different than what you see whenever you're a teacher. The reason for that is because this account, while it has special rights to be able to create an assessment that can be shared with any teacher on your campus, it is limited in what it can do. That's pretty much all it can do is just create an assessment. All right. So uh, that's why you're not seeing all those other tabs. So to create a test, I'm going to go to the manage tab. And then I'm going to click on the Administer Test button. And then down here, I now have this new button that says Create a Test. I'm going to click on this button. And then I'm going to get to the normal screen that I'm used to seeing whenever I create a, an assessment inside of Edgeforia. If you need more details on how to make an assessment, link teaks to questions and things like that, check out the additional resources on the iCafe Edgeforia resources page. I'm not going to go into that detail here. I'm just going to quickly run through this, highlight some important things along the way. So I'm just going to create a quick test key, choose next. I'm going to title this uh, quick test sample for the grade level. I'm just going to put this with my pre-K folks. Start date and end date is pretty important. Uh, the start date and end date is the window that teachers can go in and actually print off these pre-slug sheets, the answer documents that kids will fill out, and uh, be able to scan in the test. So make sure you create that window to be long enough for everybody to, to be able to give the test and scan in the answers. All right. So I'm going to change my end date here. I'm going to make it for the 30th. That gives it 10 days for everybody. That should be fine. The last area here, test type, always, always change this to be campus test. PMA and local readiness assessments, that is only for the Research and Accountability Office. For any test that you're making that is only for your campus, choose campus test as the test type. So I choose campus test and then I'm going to click next. Then I choose what course it's going to be in. This was a pre-K class, so I'm going to select that, choose next. Number of questions, just one, next, uh, answers A, next. And now I'm done with the basics of creating the test key, just like you would whenever you're creating a test key in the normal environment. Things get a little bit different here. Uh, once I hit finish, I'm taken to this new screen, and there's a couple things I need to do. First of all, I need to go ahead and get into the Students tab, and I need to assign this to students. That's different than what you're used to doing inside of your uh, normal test. Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, if you look at this, it says this test is assigned to, and then there's a number of different options, courses, homeroom or advisor teachers, grade level, all students on a campus. We're recommending that you choose students in a selected course, the screen will refresh, and then choose the subject area that makes most sense to you. Uh, for me, since this is a pre-K pre class I'm trying to work with, I'm just going to choose all and it's going to show me all uh, courses on my campus. For you, like if you're an algebra teacher, you would choose mathematics and you would choose all the algebra one courses that are going to get this test. Uh, each campus is a little different as far as how they've structured the courses. So just make sure you're looking through that course list very carefully including and including everyone who needs this assessment. So I've chosen all subject areas and I'm going to choose pre-K. Just put a check in the box and then I hit save. 
screen will refresh. I'm going to check the administration tab again just to make sure that the start date and end date look good. That's nice. I like that window. And now the last step is for me to go ahead and make this assessment active. Right now, nobody has this test available to them uh, because it's still pending. I need to click this active button. If you look here on my screen, in the upper right hand corner is this active button. I'm going to click this button. The screen refreshes and now this test is active for my teachers to be able to access inside of their accounts and be able to print the pre -slugs. That's it. The test is ready to go for our teachers. Let me show you how you'll get to it if you're a teacher that's going to have to access one of these tests. I'm going to log off and I'm going to log in as a teacher on this campus, a pre-K teacher here. Let's see if we can't get into her account. We go into aware. And then in the Analyze tab, up at the top, I now have this little button here that says Test Available. You normally see that with district assessments, but since this is another test that has been basically pushed out to this teacher in their classes, it's going to show up as a Test Available button right there. So I'm going to click on it, and here it is. Quick Test Sample, that's the assessment I just created. I'm going to click on this arrow. I select what courses I'm ready to print the answer sheets for and then I choose the print answer sheets button down here at the bottom and it's going to open up a PDF for me. And that's all your teachers have to do. So one person can create an answer key, release it to every teacher on the team and allow them to just print out their own documents, scan it themselves and they don't have to go through and release it to their kids or anything. This is super easy. We're hoping it's going to save you some time, make life a little bit easier. And on top of all of this, you're then, as a campus administrator, those folks are going to be able to look at everybody's data aggregated together and be able to see how everyone as a team is doing on these assessments. So this is Chad Jones from the iCafe Studio. Thanks for joining us. Happy testing. See you next time.